Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fund as Global. This is the 23rd video in this Google Ads course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about Google Ads business data settings. Well, there are many times when we have to add bulk data in our Google Ads account. And to do that, this business data uh, settings are available where you can add the bulk data if you have any mode of uh, data, whether it is offline, online, document, text form, you can add that data into uh, your Google Ads account so that you can do remarketing and you can target those person or if you want to target the persons that are uh, related or that are like those person which you have added in the Google Ads account, you can target them as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we have logged in into one of our Google Ads account. Uh, it is right now the new Google Ad account. And so guys, we have logged in into our one of our Google Ads account. And now we will tell you that how to add a bulk data in your Google business data settings. So in order to do that, go to tools and settings. Then in setup section, go to business data. And now we are redirect to business feed dashboard. Now, in order to add the data, you just have to click this plus icon. Now, as you can see, all options are here. The first one says add customizer data for text ads, page feeds, local product feeds, dynamic ad feeds. So let me explain you each and every option. The first option is, or the first point is add customizer data for text ads. If you are an offline store, for example, you have a jewelry, jewelry store, and you have customers from past five years or six years from whenever the, uh, you have started your store, open your store, and you have made around 4,000 offline customers and you have data of those customers. And now you are going online and you want to add or you want to remarket those customers. So in order to add that data in your Google Ads account, you have to option the this you have to uh, use this option that is add customizer data for text ads so click on this button and now you have to just name this data and then you have to add the source it can be in a file google sheet or if you have the website link you can add that as well and you have to use google's template uh, and in that particular template you you, uh, you have to fill the data and then you have to float that data in Google Ads. Uh, this is the link from where you can download the uh, template. You just have to click it. And as you can see, the template has been downloaded. Then go back. Let me go to setup and business data again. Then we have page feed. Page feed is basically for when you want to uh, run ads on a selected pages of your website. For example, uh, let's say we have a website that marketing fund does. Okay. And, okay. and we have around 100 pages in our site. But we don't want to show ads on total 100 pages. In that case, we will use page feed option to add that particular pages on those on which we want to run ads. So for example, we just want to add, run ads on 20 pages. So I just have to download the template and I have to add those 20 URLs in that template and then I have to upload it here. And that's it. I will be able to run ads on run ads only on those particular uh, 20 pages. Okay. Now we have local product feed. Local product feed feed is basically for those who run merchant center ads. Uh, let's say you have 100 products in your uh, warehouse and you have uploaded those 100 products through this local product feed data. And whenever you see that 10 products are out, are out of stock, you will be hide those products through this feed. Because when we run merchant center ad, we have to uh, add a merchant center feed and when we add all we have already added that feed you will be able to hide those particular products which are out of stock okay although there are other methods as well but these options help you to simplify the things uh, so that you don't have to do the same thing again and again 
now let's get back business data uh, option now we have dynamic ad basically this for let's say uh, i'm running a dy dynamic ad in education sector as i am from education sector so let's say i am uh, running dynamic ads and in education sector and i have downloaded this template and i have added all the headings from my service let's say the pricing of my course the services the all the main headings related to my service i have added on this particular C csv file okay in this particular template and i have uploaded and whenever uh, this dynam uh, whenever i run uh, this dynamic ad the google will show relevant ads to my audience related to my uh, services on the uh, which is basically on education okay and its ai will work on pro uh, proper basis and show whenever it uh, it have to show the price or the service okay so that's how this dynamic ad feed works so this was all about google's business data and if you click here upload history you will be able to see all the uh, uploaded data which you have uh, uploaded earlier okay and this add data feed here you can you will be able to add the data as i've told you okay and there are one more option that here if uh, right now we don't have the location so if your account get matured then it is obvious that you have uh, added your business locations so if you have multiple locations uh, of your business like uh, you have 10 offices or you have uh, three or four warehouses so you have to add those uh, locations in your google ads so that will be shown here right now we don't set up in this account that's why we are not able to see so that was it about all google business data settings and i hope you like this video i hope you understand the video and if you like the video please hit that subscribe button and keep follow this google ads course we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye